what is up my guys how's everybody doing let us know when you can hear us and when you can see us most importantly when you could feel us in your heart <sighs> yeah are we live are we live are we here Are we here? Are we here? Are we up and running? <clears throat> Are we up and running and ready to go? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm just having fun. I'm no, winging fun Chung. Time. You're having fun? You're winging Chung? Yeah, man. What is up, good. everybody? Well, let's see. Could have some water. I just got the uh, notification. notification that we're live, so I think we're good. From blue to green is here. From blue to green is here. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, damn, I wish I had an actual accent though because they're amazing. Like, I wish I had an Australian accent. I'm just gonna post or a British a accent. Discord. English accent? I guess British can encompass a lot of different places, so. It can, that it can. We'll go with English. I wish I had an English accent. Or Australian. That'd be so fun. All right. I love Kayla's British accent. Bro, I wish. What are you drinking out? A fucking keg? What is it? What, what are you talking about? What do you mean? I don't think it's something about me. But I don't understand. This. Oh. That boy here. Yeah, that looks like a keg to you. All right. Yo, I'm having fun. I'm living my fantasy. Wishing She's I was living her dream. Wishing I was from somewhere else. Living her dream. Bruh. I know it doesn't sound good. But what is fine. up? What is up, everybody? Okay, so we are on the new computer. Still have some stuff to nail out. Um, I'm feeling... I'm trying to remain positive. But feeling a little... Under the weather. Austin so. is not feeling great right I'm now. I'm feeling like very shaky. I told him that he can lay down and I can no. stream. So if you at any point are not feeling good, I appreciate it. Please take the break. I appreciate it. you're a goat. A I goat am a, among I am men. a goat. Uh, among I'm among, a goat. Among men. A goat among men. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, if you see by the name of the stream, we have a set list picked out. Mm -hmm. So, we aren't doing song learns today. We're doing something yeah. a little bit chiller. Um, if you would like to donate, that's appreciated. But we aren't taking donations for song requests. So, any donations are just for fun. Just for the enjoyment for of supporting. Yes. But you don't have to. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, make sure you guys like and share the stream. We hope you guys... Enjoy. We're going to start with uh, some Finger Eleven. Wrong. 
promise all night Now walk on by Baby, next time But not this time Even though I know Sounds if I traded it oh, oh, oh forgave it oh way for one thing just for one thing if I sorted it If I traded it all off, gave it all away for one thing, just for one thing. If I sorted it out, if I knew all about this one thing, wouldn't that be something? Yes, I know I just say it out sounds Even though I know I don't wanna know Yes, I know I just say it out sounds Ah, oh, a great song beautiful song uh thank you so much ryan for the donation <clears throat> says how do we get some mandolin action we don't have one we do not have a mandolin closest thing we got is a violin if you turn it to the sign to the side kind of mm -hmm. looks like a mandolin it's the same tuning yes it is um Bruce says, don't know if I've missed a few streams with the new cans or if they're new with the new PC. Cans means headphones. Oh, I was like, they look these are not new. Like they got <laughs> such... <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what you thought Brody meant, bro? I like, no, I didn't think he actually meant that. But I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> and then I made a joke about it. Don't think that I really thought that's what he fucking meant. Come on. Oh my Come god. On now. What? what? <laughs> LOL. They look like they've got such nice sound fidelity being proper studio reference cans. Yeah, they're open back headphones. So they're uh the backs are open. You can literally hear the music out of it. My eyes are up here. Hey, my eyes are up here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ryan. Um yeah, so today I'm I'm uh, not feeling physically well, but I said, you know what, let's come on, and we switched it last second to do and just like what we want to do, and we're not doing any song requests. Um, that last song is very special to me and Kayla. That's one of our favorite songs. Um, to play. You know, and I, I don't really know 100% what the song is uh, is about, um, you know, but I do like, I do like the, um, the lyrics, even though I know, I don't want to know. Yeah, that's deep. Like, to me, that's very, um, some things in life you are, we will never know. And we are just better not knowing, you know? Yeah. Um, and you said you know at the end of that, and it was kind of funny. You know? <laughs> Why are you always Ryan? But thank you very much, man, for the, mm -hmm. the donation. Um, Probably says the description doesn't match with no request. Um, well, we got the... We got the thing going on. Donations are all... You know, tonight we're just picking the song. The song bot take, take care of that shit. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just like trying to make sure that I don't throw up. <laughs> <laughs> it, 
It might. Oh, I, yeah, you I'm must nauseous, be okay. dude. I'm nauseous. For yeah, some that's reason. making me nervous because you don't get like that. I so it's not. making me nervous that you're gonna be not well, and then I'm not gonna be well. Right now, my stomach feels fine, so. All right, Brody. Here. I literally just changed the description. So now, now he should be golden. Golden. Sorry, Brody. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. How's everybody doing today? How are you guys feeling? Um, first of all, thank you guys so much for your support, as always. Yeah, and thank you guys for coming to my art stream mm -hmm. on Wednesday. For those of you who were there, it was so much fun. Yeah. I was... really enjoyed it. I got very deep. It was a... A healing conversation mm -hmm. for me, though. So Definitely. I appreciate you guys listening and supporting me over on my art channel. So thank you guys for that. What's up, Nick? What up, Nick? Hey, Santa. <laughs> um, what's going on? We got some, some fun stuff. We're going to do some chill songs. We're, we're really, really excited. This is an opportunity for us to... Pick through the music that we really feel, and that was a that was something that that last song, one thing by Finger Eleven is just a beautiful, beautiful song. It really makes me feel hopeful. Um, it has a very, it's it's very simple, and I find that sometimes when it comes to music, the simple stuff is the best. You know, it's not overproduced. It's and there's not too much, uh, too many instruments. It's, it's like very simple. not even a a beat. It's, yeah, it's just, just like a kick. kick. That's it. And um, I love that though. Yeah, that's a that's a really good one. It's perfect. The instrumentation and also, it's very nostalgic. Very nostalgic for a lot of us here. So. Do you want to do um? What about All Time Low? Not yet. I'm not ready for that one yet. Okay. Do you have one in particular that you want to do? Mm, I'm trying to see as you're going through it. Ooh, this is a good one. Do I have to play violin, though? Yeah, bro. Oh, I'm... I... Honestly, I don't really feel like playing violin right now, though. Okay. All right. You don't have to. So, I just want to stick to the bongos. I don't even know what you would technically call this thing. Uh, it's, that would be, like, considered a, um, that would be considered a bongo, like a cajon bongo. Hmm. But, um... All right, this is Clocks by Coldplay. Uh, I'm sure everybody knows Coldplay. At least one song. Uh, yeah, is there anything that you want to you wanna share about this song that you really like? Um, well, this song is also a nostalgic song, for mm -hmm. sure, for a lot of us. Um, Joey, 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 Brody. Joey, Brody. Joey, 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 Joey! What the heck? <laughs> Brody says, stop feeling sick, Austin, and this is a threat. Bro, thank you so much for that. That's so nice. That is very nice of you. You did not have to do that, bro. Just use the chat. Well, he did send a threat, so he had to send it through there. That's fair. You know what they say. If you're going to threaten somebody, tip them 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they say that? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, for this, for this song, Clocks... The piano riff is just iconic. It's iconic. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't even know what else to say about it. It's just iconic. And obviously, when we play it, I usually play the riff on violin. But we're going to just switch it up and do it different today. Yeah. Today's about switching it up. Yeah. You know, I understand that we switched it last second, but I wasn't feeling good. Um, I'm going to try and not say it as much as possible something that 
I'm trying to do that's difficult. Um, the more you focus on something and the more you say something, the more true it becomes. Yeah. Right? So, when you wake up in the morning and you look in the mirror and you say, I'm fat, I'm fat, I'm fat, I'm fat, I'm fat, in your head. Well, guess what? Every time you go and you look in the mirror, you're going to feel fat. If you look in the morning, you wake up in the morning and... Feel you like P. Diddy? Yeah. And you look into the mirror and you say, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful, I'm beautiful. When you're looking to the mirror, you're going to think... <laughs> I say I'm a poop today, and I usually do. That's good. We all need. You, everybody needs that. I mean, you would. You you would literally need to do that to survive. So it's good. I'm I'm proud of you, buddy. Uh, you'll feel beautiful. So the point being is that what you, you tell poop. your no after you poop. Maybe what you, you do. Tell, what you tell yourself is important. The things you say to yourself is important. So I'm trying to not like pay attention to it. <laughs> Brody. I wake up and I quote James Blunt every morning. You're beautiful. <laughs> All right, are you ready to? I'm very ready. Ready to play this? I'm song? ready, 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 Freddy. This itty bitty ditty.
cute. How are you feeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feeling good. I'm feeling good. There I'm you go. Feeling good. Dude. Again. Dude. We're not worthy. Nick. We're not worthy. Nick. Nick, bro, holy shit. A very great song. They played it at my high school graduation. That's awesome, Nick. I love that. That's a great song. It's an iconic song. It is. And you are an iconic man. You are an iconic man. Like, what the fuck did you really just... You... Hmm. I think you... You... Accidentally put two zeros with that. Like, also, you can use the chat. <laughs> hey, Nick, dude. Um, feel free to pick... Pick any song off of our song list. Seriously, like wow. anything you want off of our song list, you're more than welcome to. I'm so to overwhelmed. Pick. No accident. Oh my god, Nick. That's our song list. So Nick, go ahead and and pick anything you want off there. Anything. Anything. I'm dumbfounded. I, Nick, I don't, I don't want to seem like I'm just underwhelmed because I'm absolutely no, not. No, I'm. It, it's like more so like I don't know what to do. <laughs> like I don't know what to say. I don't know what to. <sighs> yeah, Nick. I mean, yeah, you know, we say it every stream, but you're allowing us to live. Not just like like straight up, you know, pay our bills, but you know something that me and Kayla want to do in the next few years is start a family, and like you know, for us, like the house that we're in now, it would just be really, really hard. I mean, we don't have enough space. And, like, for us to be, like, looking into, like, a new house and be able to have f financial stability that you, like, everybody's been supporting. Everybody. Everybody. And everybody's been helping, but Nick, you really have such a a, a, a meaningful way, um, and, and it's amazing. It's amazing. And even though we don't like know you, know you. If that makes sense, I mean, we don't know any of you, but uh, we love your personality. Yes. Through the screen. I know that might sound weird, but like we can tell a lot of your guys' personalities based on how you chat and like communicate with us and everyone else in the community. And like, Nick, I just want to say you are so kind and generous to everybody here. Mm -hmm. And like, you truly are. We love your personality, even though we only know it like through typing, if that makes sense. But like, yeah, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Me and Kayla have never had financial stability, and the financial stability that you guys are, you know, are are giving us, and like Nick, the financial stability that you're you're like so much contributing to. It. I didn't realize that it would, uh, that my life would be different in other ways. That we'd be able to like really think about having a family and like we were talking about where we're gonna live night. and. I it's was, it's amazing. So yeah, while we were uh, while we were going to bed last night, I yeah we were talking about that, and I was like, I didn't, I didn't realize like what financial stability felt like ever. Like I had no clue what that ever, what that ever 
would actually be like uh, until I now. Agree. And it's an incredible relief. It really is. Um, and yeah, like I remember last night when we were going to bed and we were like just talking and saying like I never realized like what what state mentally like I would be in due to having stability like and it made me realize like a few months ago I could not see myself having kids like granted it's not like we want to have them tomorrow but now it's like it's a realistic possibility, whereas before, I didn't feel ready at all. Like, and I know that's very personal, but we share so much with you guys, and it's like, I don't know. You're changing, you're changing our lives, is what it comes down to. Um, and it's amazing, and we're grateful. That's it. Yeah. Are you abandoning your child? <laughs> yeah, okay, well, I didn't give birth to that one, so. We're talking about a human child, first of all. Oh, yeah, a little different. A little, just a little bit, just a little. This is this is actually a really good, good song to do because you guys are helping us. So we're going to do with a little help from Aww. my friends. Yeah, and Centrum requested that. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, Nick, 100%. You Ain't love no playing rest. that one. I love That's playing that. One. It's a fucking awesome song. I can be your baby. <laughs> We're good. Yeah, no, we'll stick with making our own. <laughs> <laughs> Clip it. Uh, all right. Well, let's let's do it. Let's do it. That, I mean, R Ryan says, what number y'all use when being shipped in electric mail? And I mean, we don't, like, we just do it through a P.O. box, so we don't, like, use our, our number. Think of the additional. He, Austin. What? 8675309. Oh. That went right over your head. <laughs> well, the 732 is really what made it like yeah that's what me, I wasn't I wasn't thinking um but uh, dude Ryan you didn't ha you, you don't have to do that <laughs> yeah, man what the heck that's crazy Ryan we have so Ryan much. if you if you really do want to send us an electric uh mandolin bro you could you learn it yeah you could play it I could already play um it. it's the same if as you go if you go to our uh, Discord. If you join our Discord, the PO box number is there. So, uh, Brody, if, if you want it, if you if you actually seriously want to do it, actually get in get in touch with Brody and hold will take care of it. <laughs> Thank you so much Thanks for so the much. Crazy. donation. <laughs>
had its own Would you stand up and walk out on me? Try not to sing out of key
I've never played a beat on that before. Anytime really we've like ever that. done that, I just play violin. Mm -hmm. And I don't think I ever usually would sing on that either. So that was really fun. That was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. That Thank was really you good for suggesting that, Centrin. And also, like, it fit in perfectly with... Saint Nick strikes again. Nick, dude. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. I was just saying Nick. it fit in perfectly with, like, the theme of... We love you guys and for supporting us and helping us along this incredible journey of our career. Like, this is our career. Our, we feel it's our purpose. We have been dreaming of this forever. And, like, you guys are making this happen for us. So, like, that song just, like, fit so well with what we were talking it about. Did. And, like, Nick, what the fuck? It did. <laughs> Nick, please, like, save your money. Like, what the fuck are you doing? He said, man, I haven't heard that song in a while. That's a great song. It and is a great song. Yeah. Wow, Nick. I, I'm just constantly blown away by your generosity, dude. It's, um... And I'm blown away from the rest of you guys as well for, like, the fact that you keep coming back <laughs> and, like, hanging out with us. What the heck? I'm just vibing. So are well, we. Again, listen. Thank you. You make it easy for us You make it easy for us to focus on just the music. The music, yeah. And mm -hmm. you know, um not not worry. Not be stressed. You know, not be stressed. Like Kayla said, like, this really feels like our career. And it, it's just amazing. Like, the fact of, of, of what you, you do for us is it's hard to comprehend but oh nick we know we know you're not we this is just us you know if it's annoying let us know and we'll stop yeah uh, we're not trying we're to not trying like, to that's the last thing we i don't want yeah i don't want to make you feel any anyway we, we know you're not Th that's just like that's just like kind of who we are we we just feel so like blessed and grateful and that really that extends to the whole community that everybody yes, is yes, yes, yes. is so great here and positive positive and you know kind with their time yes absolutely. and you know like i've said many times you can make more money you can't make more time and so for you guys to be here and donating just your time with us is something that's special it, it really special. is it's special to us um you know not everybody has not every you know musician has an audience like this we and didn't for a long time we worked hard for for so many years and you know this goes back to everything that everybody's going through right now you guys you got you guys all got this if you're working towards that job promotion, if you're working towards losing that 20 pounds, if you're working towards that relationship, if you're working towards the relationship with yourself, if you're working towards, you know, uh, learning guitar, whatever it is, guys, never give up because you never, ever, ever know if you just continued for another day. That was going to be the day that you finally had a breakthrough. Mm, you I don't, we don't know in life, right? We don't, we don't know in life, in life about what's going to come. And that's, you know, to a lot of people, you know, you could think of it about that and it could be scary. I think we all do at some point get scared of that. But that also makes life beautiful because it makes it 
it makes it worth worth living you know it makes it worth everything I um, agree and yeah I mean it's just it's just amazing so th thank you so much to everybody who is is a part of this community and helps us you know support us like You're to be able to us do by that giving us a view <laughs> yes like honestly or liking this stream like whatever it is sharing it with somebody just uplifting people in the chat having a good time like we love all you guys yeah all right you want to pick another one yeah, we got Ain't No Rest for oh, the Wicked. Oh, yeah. Duh, I forgot about that. I'm just going to go to the bathroom real quick. Okay. You can continue the, the good old you know, I know it's uh, an overplayed request for every musician ever, every gigging musician. However, I really want to do what? Sublime tonight. Yeah, let's do it. Because... So... Maybe some of you guys know this because we may have talked about this before, but it's been a while, honestly, so I'm not sure. Um, no, not Wonderwall. God, no, not Wonderwall. We are not playing that tonight. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Uh, Santeria by Sublime was the first song that I ever heard Austin play. And... I met so I met Austin at a gig that he was playing. Um, it was a duo with him and a percussionist, and the percussionist was my friend uh, that I met. I don't even know in high school, but we lived in different towns, so we met through mutual friends. Very random. Um, and also, if you guys know Frank Tedesco, um, he's also an Omegle content creator he's an incredible musician um and he streams as well if you guys don't know who he is you should absolutely check him out because he's incredibly talented um but yeah so i knew frank growing up uh we we met in high school and again through mutual friends and frank's friend i met the same night i met frank i was like 17 or 16 or something like that and years and years go by I keep in touch here and there but you know not a lot everybody lives separate lives we all go like our own ways and stuff so I wasn't in touch with either of them for like a while um, and then after I graduated college I moved back home and I reconnected with this friend and I was like hey do you want to hang out tonight like maybe we can like chill or do something and he was like oh actually I'm playing a gig and I was like wait what like you didn't tell me you like I didn't even know that he performed at all so I was like what the fuck like that's so random can I please come with you like I'd love to see you play so um, he picks me up and we go to the gig and the second I saw Austin, I was just like, who is this man? Like, wh who is this person? I need to know this person. Like, for some reason, I just got this instant feeling when I saw him and when I shook his hand and said hello. Like this feeling in my stomach that I've never experienced before like at that point and I was just like wow like this something about this person is really special I don't know what it is but I felt something just so weird come over me and so <laughs> I tried to like and okay I'm still kind of a shy person but all growing up I was like painfully shy it was always really hard for me to like break out of my shell and actually take initiative to go talk to people I still struggle with that like in a social setting so but for whatever reason I was like 
so Austin, like, you know, and I was like trying to talk with him and he's in work mode at that point. So he doesn't give a shit. No, he has no, no clue who I am. Like, he's just like, OK, yeah, whatever. Like, you're this person's friend. Cool. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, And then I sat back, asked him, I was like, did you say hello or did nerves kick in and sound more like, oh, uh, <laughs> I mean, it might have. I don't know. But Austin told me that uh, he felt something, too, when he met me. I don't know if you're just saying that or whatever, but uh, it's funny because Austin's mom and dad came to the gig that night and they were like, oh, are you their friend? Like, come sit with us. And I was like, the fuck? Like, you're this guy's parents. First of all, they look so young. So I was like the fuck like your mom is hot like how does she have a kid so i don't know <laughs> it was funny though and i just connected with austin's parents before i even knew anything about austin and it was an amazing night and yeah the first song that i ever heard austin sing was sublime. san maria by sublime mm -hmm. and i will never forget that I'll never forget that moment and how I felt hearing him sing for the first time. And I was just so, like, impressed and, I don't know, just, just felt something. So, yeah, anyway. All right, you ready? That's the story on how we met. That's the story. And also... How I met your mother. And also how, like, randomly Frank Tedesco is like tied to that yeah. in a way like i don't know it's that, just that so really it's so random and so weird so all right so th let's do this thing let's do this leave. is for nick your mom is hot how does she <laughs>
one day So I turned the TV on and flipped it over from the news And put a song on the school in competition So a preacher man in coffee taking body from the church He's got his bank account and right to sign on the bills Still like a sing, but you know we're all the same We're seeking out those thrills song so and uh justin thank you very justin much Zeller, thank you so much dude we haven't seen you in a while i know we Bro, missed you in the chat dude we've been we've been waiting for your return mm-hmm. so that we can uh set up a stream to do uh uh so that you could pick a the song. zell yeah zone yeah. the zell yeah zone yeah um also thank you for for coming to my art stream the other day and supporting me there I really appreciated that so much, and I did not expect it at all. And then, like, when you just popped up, I was like, Justin exists! He still exists! We hope you've been doing good. Yes. Uh, we aren't doing song requests, but we know, we, uh, you know. I know it well you enough. You know Black Horse and Cherry I've Tree enough, right? Yeah. Okay, so we, we'll do that just for you, Zelen. Zelen. Zelen? Just, I combined <laughs> his first and last name. But the opposite. Ah, uh, gotcha. The opposite way. Makes sense. Yeah, we can definitely, uh... Definitely pull that one up. Thank you, I Nick. I think we have it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty. Zelen, that needs to stick. How's the course of this go? Well, it's hard to with the background no, music yeah, sure. on. Um, thank you everybody who has been just so generous with your time, so generous with, you know, your money and just your, your words. We hope that everybody in here knows that, yo, what's up, Patrick? What's going on, man? What's up? What's up? Patrick is actually the guy who owns a company that built our our brand new PC. Um, it's Custom Lux. Cus- um, let me actually pull up the website. I'll leave the link for it. If you guys are looking for a custom PC, Patrick's customer support is very top notch. Top notch. Fantastic. So definitely go check him out. Um, Patrick is goaded. But what was I going to say? Um, everything that you you guys are you know if you guys are struggling, um, you guys are having tough times in life. You know you can get through all that. You know we're. 
prime examples. I mean, sometimes it takes a while. But it could take a lifetime, but don't let that discourage you. Yeah. Because you're always working. Like, you should always be working on yourself. Yeah, it's it's important to always make sure that you're you're working on yourself. Um, you know, so many times in life, we get caught up in what's going on. We think, nah, I'll you know, I'll work on that later. Um, and so many times in life, it's hard to see the growth, right? Mm -hmm. It's like um, like day to day. I saw a picture. And it was of, like, a tree, a small tree, and underneath it had all these roots. And it said, sometimes you can't see your growth. Mm. And oh, I love that. It was amazing to, to see that because it really is true, you know. Th there's so many things that we do in life that... You really can't see if you're growing or not, either until it's until you're like put into a situation where something can test your your growth, mm. um, or like especially when it comes to mental health, it's, it's really hard because it's not like you know muscles that you like physically you can't see. see it. It's not tangible. It's not tangible. So. It's hard to like, you know, flex in the mirror and say, oh yeah, my muscles look bigger than before. But if you can find ways to measure and see your growth for what it is, that'll give you the motivation to keep going. And in life, when we... When we're doing good, it's really easy to put down everything else. To say, I'm feeling good, so there's no reason for me to go to the gym. I'm feeling good, so there's no reason for me to sit down and meditate. I'm feeling good, so there's no reason for me to journal. I'm feeling good, so there's no reason for me to work on myself today. I'm feeling good, so, you know, um, it's a, it, it's, it's a lot of, it, it, I feel like a lot of times, like, when we're on a good track, it's easy to stop doing what you need to be doing. But there's a lot of things in life when it comes to mental health and physical health, too. Um, more so mental health because it's really tough to, like, physically see it. Um, that you have to consistently do. Consistently. No matter if you're doing bad. No matter if you're doing good. No matter if you're doing great or okay. You just have to consistently do what helps you mm -hmm. um and um yeah i mean it's it you know it's it's just I, I, that's all i want to say about that you know so if you guys are struggling um or you're not or you're doing really good just remember that no matter how good you're currently doing there will be times in life that'll challenge you and you know What's it's like use it or lose it, right? Isn't that like saying, like with like a muscle? I don't know. I guess if you if you don't continuously work at it, you're gonna not be as good at it. So it's like if you know I'm doing really good at guitar, you know, and I feel like I'm at a comfortable spot and I don't practice or play or practice or play or practice or play, Ugh. you know. Then it's really good at struggling. Then Bro. in a year from now, I'm gonna have a tough time playing. So yeah, sorry if I'm a little scatterbrained, but you're good. All right, you want to hit this? Yeah, let's let's do get it. it. So this is from Mr. Zella, <laughs> Mr. Justin Zella. You have to change that right there. Oh yeah, thank you very much for that, baby. <laughs> no problem. It's what I'm here for. That's what I get paid to do.
I like that. Nick, that's awesome. That's really cool. Me better than I know myself, so I'm gonna let it do all the time. Ooh, ooh. I came across a place in the middle of nowhere with a big black horse and a cherry tree. Ooh, ooh. I felt a little fear upon my back. I said, Don't look back, just keep on walking. Lost my spot. <laughs> my bad. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. But I said no, 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 no. I said no, no. You're not the one for me. No, 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 no. I said no, no. You're not the one for me. So I'm gonna let it do all the talking ooh, ooh. I came across a place in the middle of nowhere With a big black horse and a cherry tree ooh, ooh. I felt a little fear upon my back I said don't look back, just keep on walking Did I really do it in, in the, the same, same spot, spot twice? both times? I'm so sorry for that, but like, my bad. Because at the same part, both times I ran mm -hmm. through it, I closed my eyes without like really thinking about it. And then I'm like, oh, fuck, I don't even know what the next line is. And then I would lose my spot. <laughs> so my bad. But I hope you guys still liked it. I thought it was great. Thank you. I'm going to get more water. Okay. Your father was. Can you say it? Your father was a swine. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody know where that's from? 
If you do, I will love you forever. You should be sorry. How dare you did it twice? What did you do twice? Uh, uh, Justin, yeah, dude, sorry. We don't... I totally forgot how to play that song. I know it's our song, so... What? I know. This old man. We, like, practiced... We practiced that for... <laughs> we, like, learned that... We learned that song before stream when we did it. Harry Potter. That is... Uh... A couple people, Panic Studio and the Skrillnik. Your father was a swine. Yes, Severus said it, yes. <laughs> Yo, I fuck with y'all. I fuck with you. Yes. How's everybody doing today? Let's see. Let's see what what shall we pick? It's a 50-50 shot of the answer always being Harry Potter. Yeah, that's true. If you're on this stream, then it's like... You would probably know that by now. No, I did not send. I did not... I'm 35. I'm 35. My desk is all toys, all Harry Potter. That's awesome. You're never too old to. Dude, uh, it's fine. I'm 30, and I have a bunch of Harry Potter stuff in my in our room upstairs. You're never too old to like Harry Potter. I have a couple wands. I got some little figurines. I got the glasses, the tie, the shirt, jacket. Wait, glasses, jacket, shirt. Man. No, never yeah. mind. You do. Well, let's do this one. Oh, what? <laughs> what the heck? That was weird. <sighs> How are we going to do this one? Like, what vibe are you doing with this? Because all, like, last summer we did this with, like, a reggae mm -hmm. vibe, remember? Yeah, you You want to do it like that again? Yeah, why? Why not? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, one viewer on Twitch. Let's fucking go. Oh, we're killing it on kick. With zero viewers. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not doing song requests today, Ryan. We are just... All we're doing is we're just picking what we what we want to play. Um, yeah, this is our stream today. Ho, 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 ho. Nick. Nick strikes again. Just a smiley We're face, bro. Worthy. We're not worthy. Nick. Yo, what are you... Dude. Bro. Specifically a dollar short I on purpose. That. I love that. You are... Dude. Your father was not a swine. Nick X is not a swine. <laughs> yes. Bro, you are absolutely nuts. In the best, you you, you got the best nuts. I mean, the best, like, you're, no, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you, you're the best kind of nuts. You meant to say no, it like that. I, you I totally did. did. <laughs> you totally did. You meant to say it like that. We all know you. We know you. You could try to play it off like you did not mean, oh, it's funny, but. Clip it. Exactly. <clears throat> Clip it. <laughs> Having a good time, guys. Oh, it's a song we know. If it's a song we know, I don't mind. We could do a, a little bit of All Time Low. Sure. And I said, hey. Yeah, he really yeah, wants that song. Yeah, he really wants that yeah, song. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll I'll attempt that song in a couple songs from now, Brody, just for you. Got a donut from town, Brady. Oh, dude, Brady. Oh, it came in late. You were you were Brady. so close. 
Thank but you. So far away. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for everything that you have done and continue to do. We appreciate you all so much and I I'm just so happy. Did and we... it's due to everybody here. Like you guys just make us happy. You guys make us laugh. You guys make us smile. You guys allow us to play music for you and Listen. like we all just connect and like I don't know. I feel like the older I get, the more I am turning into a hippie. And I'm like, oh, peace and love, man. But, like, it's true. I just love all you it's, guys. It, it's absolutely incredible. And, um... Yeah, no matter what, like like I've said, no matter what you guys are struggling with, it, with, you know... No matter what you guys are struggling with, you guys can get through it. Don't ever for a second think that you can't. You know? Something that... Something that I struggled with, and I know Kayla struggled with a lot when we were earlier in our life, was bullying. And, you know, it. I feel like during those moments of our life, it felt like we would never... Like, that's the way that life would be forever. Absolutely. And I feel like everybody can, a lot of people can relate to that. Yeah. You know, not everybody's been bullied, but I feel like a lot of people can relate. In and one look, way or and another. in the moment, it's like, shit, this is never going to fucking end. And, and then it does. And you, you get through it and you go through life and then you don't have to deal with it anymore. And, you know, I feel like the the biggest piece of advice that we could ever give to anybody is to love yourself. And it's so hard when people around you are treating you a certain way. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, I know, you know, most of you, you guys who are watching are not in school. Like, you guys are older. Um, But like, I noticed that I internalized so, so much of how other people treated me and, like, turned that into, well, clearly, if all of these people make fun of me every day, if they try to start things with me every day, if they threaten to beat me up every day, like, there must be a reason and it must be me. Like, and that's really how I viewed myself, and I carried that into adulthood for years. Uh, and I didn't realize, like, necessarily why I hated myself the way that I did. Mm -hmm. And it's like... Uh, it's like when people, you know, when others around you are treating you a certain way... And that gets in your head and you internalize it and you start treating yourself that same way. And that's exactly what I did into, like I said, into adulthood. I was very hard on myself and, you know, I've opened up to you guys about it a bunch of times. But specifically with bullying, like, it can really um, trigger a response in you. That's easy to never get out of. You carry, you carry on for the rest of your life. Right. But you don't have you to. You don't have to. You can change that and realize that that narrative was all fake. You know, it and that wasn't, it wasn't real. It wasn't, it was just people just being mean. Mm -hmm. Like that doesn't mean that you deserved it. And you absolutely don't deserve you doing that to yourself. And, that's but that's true for for everything that you go through in life. You can ca you can decide to carry it. What's the thing I saw today? Oh yeah, do you have it saved? You did see something today that you read, this and is... I was like, "Hold on a second. They they can be really mean. 
Adults can be really mean. I've met my fair share of adults that have been... Sometimes it takes greater strength to let go than to hold on. That's and funny. it takes more strength to let go of the narratives you tell yourself. It takes more strength to let go of the way you view yourself and start fresh than it does to hold on to what you think you should do, what you think everybody thinks you should do, how you should act, how you should be. And you guys have allowed us to have this purpose. Mm -hmm. And it really is amazing. And, you know, it's this is a thank you, but it's also a keep going until you find your purpose. Because everybody has purpose. Everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, no matter what you do for a living, no matter what your skill set, no matter what age, no matter where you are in the world, everybody has purpose. And so search for your purpose. You, you, you guys all have purpose to us. You know, we might not feel it. But to us, you do. You're, you're changing our lives. And so, again, I know I sound like a broken record, and I'm not just trying to say this just because I just want to continue to say thank you, although I do. I don't want to annoy you guys. I'm saying it because, like, if you feel you don't have purpose, I'm sitting here telling you you do. You have purpose to me. You have purpose to Kayla. Mm -hmm. You have pur purpose to Joey. You know? And... You're giving us the ability to have the freedom to talk about starting a family. And that, that is, that's real purpose. You're not just, you guys aren't just, okay, hey, like we can, you know, afford new guitar strings. <laughs> God bless you. Sorry. Like, <laughs> you guys are having purpose where you guys are helping us be able to plan to you know start a family and we're I not there it. yet you keep you keep he keeps bringing that up we're not there yet like we're not we're not a hundred percent like ready to to do that like we need want to we need more a we, little more stability we first. need a little bit more stability and and, and mentally a, yes and want I want to work on myself <coughs> mentally more but with that being said, you guys are are doing that for us, and so like you know, listen. I don't know if it's this just sounds like bullshit. You know, I'm not. It's the truth. So, are you guys gonna stream when you start that family? Yo, I expect better Skrull. of you, Skrillnik. I expect Brody was, <laughs> Brody was on. on that shit. <laughs> Thank you, Brody. That was brutal. Well, yeah. <coughs> but <coughs> all right, let's uh. Hold on, I need my inhaler. You're right. Yeah. You sure? Yeah, I just feel my like chest getting tight. Okay. But I'm so grateful for all of you guys, and and listen, it be grateful for what you have, and and don't focus so much on what you don't like. Me and Kayla, you know, something that I, I, I'm catching myself. You guys know I have bipolar disorder. And for those of you who are new, I have bipolar disorder. Um, me and Kayla are considering moving to South Carolina. And it's really easy for me to become obsessive about certain things and just really hyper focus and hyper fixate on the, those things. And, you know, we're looking into houses and like, oh, well, what if we can't get it? What if we, we can't get approved for it? What if this and that? And 
you know, that those are the thoughts. Like I, I, I can see, like if that were to happen, it putting me in a tailspin, <coughs> and I can also see like me thinking and focusing so much on the house that, you know, I'm not really focusing on the here and now, and that's something that I've learned is to like catch yourself. We all have habits. We all have patterns. Catch yourself before you go into a pattern that's negative to you and that's detrimental to you. And yeah. catch yourself into a pattern so that you could stop yourself from going into a tailspin. Stop, stop yourself from going into a depression or stop yourself from going into a, you know, whatever. Um, <coughs> so it's important to know your patterns because, yeah. like, for me... I have bipolar disorder and when I'm feeling really good, it's easy to say, I'm doing really good. I don't need to do this. Let me, you, let me just focus. Dude. Oh, why didn't your thing go off? Justin. Thank you, dude. Get some plants on me for the house. What? That's so cute. That's so, that's so nice. I love that. You're so nice, dude. I love all you guys so much. <clears throat> That's so sweet. <coughs> what the hell is happening? I'm broken, but that just there we means go. I'm a ginger. Um. But yeah, I mean, we're we're just we're just grateful for you guys, and um, I don't I don't know what to say. So thank you, everybody. <clears throat> All right, all time low, John Bellion. You ready for this? Yeah. <clears throat> Do you have advice on stopping yourself from spiraling? I mean, awareness is like the biggest, the biggest thing. Awareness. Become aware of, and like Become spiraling. Become aware of your thoughts. Spiraling could be, doesn't have to be in a depression. Again, for me, spiraling sometimes could be like manic in a way. More, um, more like anxiety. No, manic, like positive. Like could, it could oh, seem okay. positive. Um, for me, Joey, 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 dude, thank you. Joey, 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 Joey! Can you show me your <laughs> intermediary son? He will not be less important than your skin child, dude. Skin child. <clears throat> yeah, go get Joey. I'll, yeah. I'll... Um. <clears throat> the um. For me, like when I when I struggle with like mania, um, it's important to not l just like let it, like, to realize that that can easily make me stop doing the things that I need to be doing. So spiraling doesn't necessarily just mean negative. And I feel like that's where we kind of get caught up. And spiraling could be positive. You just get a job promotion and your boss says, hey, you got to work a bunch of extra hours and you have this new project that you're really excited for. You're getting paid more, so you're really happy. And you're neglecting your mental health. You're neglecting going to the gym. You're neglecting your friends. You're neglecting your family. That's spiraling too. It's spiraling doesn't just have to go in one direction. Spiraling can go in another direction too. We need balance. Homeostasis is like the scientific term, but humans, they require balance. If we're out of balance, that's when we spiral. So you are learning the things that I've been preaching to you for the last seven years. Yeah. Good to know. And <laughs> so whatever you guys are going through, Good stuff, bad stuff, keep 
stay balanced. And balance could be a walk. Balance could be reading a book. Balance can be taking time for yourself, having a bubble bath. Balance Ooh. could be taking a shower. Balance can be um, going for a run, going to the gym, having a healthy snack. Like there's, these are all like healthy balance. It's all healthy balance. You're not leaving yet. You're not leaving. The people want you. All right, you ready for the all people, time low? The people have paid to see you. You're not leaving that quick. <laughs> song oh, love that song such a good song so oh guys wednesday this upcoming wednesday 7 p.m eastern we are going to be having a mental health stream with our life coach she yep. will be on it's gonna be so awesome you guys are gonna want to be there we are yeah. going to post um, a Discord. There's going to be a Discord text channel that you can post questions. Um, we will preface this by saying if you are in severe distress or um, have anything that's severe, we seek you to provide to we prov we <laughs> suggest suggest you seek out a professional, professional yes. directly yes. this will be for more generalized questions generalized um, questions advice yes but not necessarily like not like going into 
depth yes. about any situation no, it, you're in, but more so generalized, like questions like like I Tim do? Tim yeah, said, yeah, like how exactly. do I stop myself from spiraling? Right. Um. So. Yeah, and we're gonna read. <clears throat> we're gonna read uh, some of your guys' comments. Yes. To her on stream, and I think like. I mean, it's basically just going to be like a session, mm -hmm. you know. And the great and thing we're is really that excited. is that if you enjoy it, which you, I think you will, Tina's awesome. She does life coaching um, for through virtual through like Zoom and stuff. Yeah. So if you think I I would I couldn't recommend her enough. She has changed our lives. She's changed our lives. Literally, like. And um, yeah, I want to I want to go back to something that. Nick said he said I find myself getting caught up in my work mm. sometimes and that's okay that's natural like it's okay never never beat successful. your guys never and I don't know if you do Nick I'm just using this as an example never beat yourself up for not doing something the way you envisioned or not doing something the way you think you should be doing it like you there's a reason that the windshield is bigger than the rear view mirror. It's because you're meant to look forward. You're not meant to look back. And stuff that you've done... Stuff that you've done is in the past. So look forward. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Why are you always Ryan? Thank you, Ryan. Oh, thanks. Austin, don't forget to check the P.O. box. Next week, next week's stream will have some four-string mandolin. Dude, that's fucking what? awesome. What the heck? <clears throat> Ryan, a different Ryan, says... You said that you were selecting the track list today, but you guys still did all time low. I'm thankful. Made my day definitely. So have a happy rest of the stream. Gonna get some sleep now. God, dude. Hey, well, listen, sweet yeah. dreams, bro. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep. Um, and thank you for the request. And thank you for spreading the positivity. Mm -hmm. Seriously. <clears throat> I want to do this this song. Um, actually, I want to pick a song that's really special to us. Like something that really speaks to everything we've gone through. Mm. <clears throat> Any ideas? I'm looking through as you're scrolling. Oh, Pyro. Pyro. <laughs> we both thought it at the same time. Yeah, I don't know what's like going on with my throat right now. <clears throat> This is a great song. This is really beautiful. One of me and Kayla's favorite songs to play. Um, there's just some emotion to this song that it's like kind of intangible, undescribable. And... Just able to feel it you know, a little bit more than some of the other stuff that we've played. And, you know, when a song speaks to you, you know, it, it has a way of connecting that's different than everything else. 
Franklin theme song. When they said it was a song with great meaning, I was convinced it was Ram Ranch. Oh Teen God. Naked Cowboys. Oh, jeez. That better not have any meaning. <clears throat> I was looking up because of the oh, lyrics. Oh, 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 Saint Dude. Nick strikes again. Dude. We're Are you kidding me right now? He just does this. Ready? Nick. Bruh. 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 God bless you. What is happening to me? Um, Nick? I don't know why I'm shaking right now. Nick, I don't Dude. You're the best man. You really are. You really are. We're I'm so grateful. What? Brody made a meme Let me see. of me because I told him, I was like, yeah, we could do What's Up by Four Non Blondes and like a couple songs and we totally forgot. <laughs> the fact that you took the time to do that. I will right, we'll do uh, What's Up after this next one. Uh, um, Real quick, going to Pyro, I was looking up because in the lyrics, he says, I won't ever be your cornerstone. So I was like, what does that actually mean? Hey, Joe, and get off my fiddle board. I don't know what that accent was. <laughs> get off my fiddle board. <laughs> <laughs> it was a Russian. Was it, though? Get off my fiddle board. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Dexter from Dexter's Lab. Uh, I, I know who Dexter is. Anyway... Oh, Brady, dude. Oh, Brady, just a blue and green heart, dude. You're the best, man. Guys, thank you so much. What you the heck? Are, you guys are just are so you? kind. Mm, okay. We don't um, deserve you. No, like, actually, though. So, what does it mean for someone to be a cornerstone? Something of great importance that everything else depends on. Hmm. That's interesting. Um. Now I like understand what those lyrics mean. Mm hmm. Like I won't. I won't be your cornerstone anymore. Like you don't. You're not. Like I'm getting out of this. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Like and I. I can look at that as like anxiety to me. Yeah. And like depression. Mm. You know. You don't have to. Everything you're going through, if you're struggling, you don't have to. Yeah. You know? That's easier said than done, but that's just the truth. It takes practice. It takes practice, but you don't, you will get out of it. And if, listen, no matter what is happening in your life, I promise you guys, you will get through it. I promise you guys, you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. You will get to where you're you need to be so that's all i could say Now, now, now. 
It's probably you probably need to. Dude, are you gonna be able to do what's going on or no? No. Ah, that's I'm what I sorry. Thought. I'm sorry. I feel myself like really struggling right now to sing. Do like it. take take another puff of your inhaler. It's not gonna change that I have a sore throat right now. Mm. Also, like, the inhaler doesn't do anything for your throat. It's your lungs. Mm. It makes it so that your airways open up more, but my throat is, like, hurting right now. Just grab the jelly inhaler and give it a big sniff. What is that? What does that mean? What does that I don't, mean? I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what that's from... I feel like Bacon would know. Bacon would know what that's from. Because Bacon what, has... What, what does that mean? I... I don't get it. <laughs> I want to do a uh, wicked game. Because the world's on fire. No one could save me but you, though. And. You know. <clears throat> 
this, uh, that line, no one can save me but you. The truth is that no one can save you but yourself. People can give you advice, but you have to be the one who does the work. Mm. And I did see that Brody was saying um, something about being a people pleaser. Ugh. It at the you know what it comes down to is you got to do what's best for you, Joey. Get Joey, off the pedal board, dude. Now he's trying to get your feet, <laughs> Joey. You have to do what's best for you, and there's things in life that don't benefit you, Joey, dude. He's being bad right now. He's being very bad. There's things in life that don't benefit you, and you will be pressured by society, by friends, by family. And at the end of the day, you need to do what's best for you because you don't owe anybody anything. You owe yourself happiness. You deserve to be happy. And it's really easy to feel like you don't deserve it. But you do. You do. So, everybody who's watching right now, tell yourself, I deserve to be happy. Because you do. I'm, I'm telling you do. So, do it now. <laughs> Good night, Tim. Maybe we'll see you later. Maybe we'll talk to you later. Have a good dinner. Are right, you ready for this? Yes, and Bacon did know what it was in Practical Joker's. I don't get it. I gotta stop because I want this to be really good. Joey, I, I gotta get he's him. A, he's swatting at the... <laughs> he's swatting at Austin's feet. Joey. Go. 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 <laughs> that doesn't mean come over to me. Now he's just gonna swat at your feet. Now he's just sitting in front of me. <laughs> oh, God. That was, that was good. That was so good. And like We could do it better. You're right. The piano's not pulled out right now. <coughs> Alright, here we go. Joey is, I, sorry buddy, you're gonna have to take you out of the room.
He's being a bad He's being boy very right bad now. right now. Joey. Come here, Joe. Joey. Oh, you faked him out. You're locking him out. That's so mean. He listened to you. You should have given him a treat. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear him, and he's like... Oh my god. Did you just feed him? Yeah. Like a full thing? Yeah. <laughs> uh. You know what's gonna happen now? Every time he, he, he's gonna be bad so that when he listens, he'll get a full meal. He didn't, it's not a full meal. All right, third time's the charm. Third time's the charm.
somebody like you No, I don't wanna fall in love 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 With you That was cool. We've never done it like that Thank before. Thank you, Nick. We appreciate that. Great song. Very well played. Thank you. Hi. Thank you so much. That means everything. We, have, everything we appreciate that. I haven't listened to this since I was 16 and had a bad breakup, but... N- but it's n- not hitting me the same way. Well done. Now it's hitting me the same way. Well done. Oh. I, I don't know. But either well, way, thank you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Is there any, any, um, questions or, you know, like Tim, like any mental health stuff, categories, subjects, like Tim had the question of how do you stop yourself from spiraling, spiraling. I think Brody was discussed. I'm trying to think if there's, if there's something else we want to discuss. Because Brody was saying about, like, uh, um, being, like, a people pleaser. Um, That's, like, my biggest downfall. Yeah. (laughs) That I've been really trying to be aware of and working through. And it's really, really difficult. It's very difficult. Um, So, Brody, I feel you on that. It can be rough. But (laughs) it's a journey, you know? And... You have to do little things um, each day and, you know, realize that your mental health and happiness should always be first. And if something is not serving you, um, it's for a reason. Mm -hmm. And there are going to be uh, people out there that you just will never be able to make happy or like they might always find a reason to like question you or your choices or um my day-to-day job is literally telling people no because they overshared accidentally which meant i had to deny their claim oof yeah that's uh I would not be able to do a job (laughs) like that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's tough. Um, But the really good thing as well, Brody, is like you're the one who mentioned that this job is actually good for you. So you're taking what you might have originally felt was a negative thing and you're turning it into a positive. And because of that, you're growing. And that's a beautiful thing. It's good for me because it's th- it's tough. And mm-hmm. that's the thing. When it comes to mental health, you know, um, putting yourself in uncomfortable situations, it allows for you to grow, mm-hmm. you know? Absolutely. Um, when we're too comfortable we tend to not, you know, they say out of your, you know, go out of your comfort zone. It's a a saying for a reason Mm -hmm. because 
with going out of your comfort zone, you allow yourself to learn. You know, it's like it's like a kid. When you're a little kid, you don't have a comfort zone. You're learning. You're taking in new information and, you know, gathering it and, um, you know, your environment, your parents, your society, um, your friends, and you're, you're developing your character and the way that you view the world and view life. Mm -hmm. And it's the same with your comfort zone. If you stay within your comfort zone, you're going to have no new input. Hmm. No new input to, to learn off of. It's like a, an artist who only has three color, who can only use three colors, red, green, and blue. Well, those are the primary. No, but I'm saying like... <laughs> I'm just, I'm messing with you. When, if you're an artist who can only use red, who only use red, green, and blue, once you see purple, pink, um, you know, orange, white, black, you know, once you have all those, you're able to create something better. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just absolutely, you know, crucial to your development and to your growth that you are able to use new input and information. It's like a musician who can only play Wonderwall. Once you play literally anything else, you can create something better. I love that. That's hilarious. Uh, we aren't doing requests today. Um, we're, we're, we're picking stuff we want to play. Um, but thank you. Yes. We love you too. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to is making sure that you aren't too comfortable because when we're too comfortable we don't try and grow so it's okay to be in an uncomfortable situation be proud of yourself for being in an uncomfortable situation yeah when i was first sure. diagnosed with bipolar disorder i specifically put myself in an uncomfortable situation by getting a corporate job first time in my life i ever did something like that to have structure I've never had structure um, have a time when I need to wake up, a time, you know, when I need to go to work, a time when I get off of work. And it helped, it helped me develop the tools that I need to mm -hmm. really figure out what it is that helps me. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when we work for ourselves, like those of, of you in the chat who work for yourself and don't work for an employer or self-employed it's hard to be your own boss sometimes because you have to hold yourself accountable but that's life you got to hold yourself accountable like it's not just work like no one's going to sit there holding you accountable and saying you have to uh, get your mental health in order <clears throat> you have to hold yourself accountable so a lot of the times <clears throat> you know I found that I could relate that work situation to my mental health situation. And a lot of times you can find parallels in life, like certain things parallel with others. And um, they just, you, you can use situations. Bitch, please, Kayla's the boss here. <laughs> yeah. Um, you would think. No, you didn't. That's how that's you spell how, it. That's how you spell Kayla's name. Yeah, thank you. Oh my god, being in this I new know. job, it makes me cry sometimes while I'm lying in bed just to get it all out. What's in my head and sometimes I say <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> he really wants that song, dude. Oh. And I appreciate it because you enjoy how I sing it, but I don't want to, like, not do it justice. You know? So if you don't mind waiting until, like, Tomorrow, maybe, if, hopefully, my voice will feel better. Because that's a harder one to sing. Yeah, that's a hard song. A hard song. But, um... Yeah, so, you know, that's what... 
that's what I wanted to say about that. It's it's okay to be uncomfortable in life. That's Absolutely. how you grow. Mm-hmm. And um, I only did that because it fit the convo. <laughs> well, it's, it was like subliminal. Yeah, subliminal. <laughs> what's going on? Messages. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, you want to do that one? Ooh, I like that finger-picky vibe with it. That's cool. All right, let's do it. I'm slipping in the heart of this year, yeah, can't be ripping in the heart of this year. Watch me as in gravity now. Go ghost down with boats down with your sound. You kill the ink, so bite the dust, can't fight with us with your sound. You kill the ink, so don't stop.
feel good ending to do it like soft like that yeah i liked it a lot i like that <laughs> how you guys feeling tonight are you guys enjoying the stream so we switched it up a little bit you know doing something a little bit different than usual yeah and uh it we're having fun feels good i'm wanging feels chung good. <laughs> how many guys have wanged chung tonight If you wing chung, then you know it. Clap your hands. If you wing chung, then you know it. Clap your hands. Ooh, that was a satisfying crunch. Loving it so far. Thank you. Thank you. Sounding great. Thank you, David. <clears throat> Everybody wing chung tonight. I'm enjoying the stream indeed. Well, we're glad Yay. you're enjoying it. And Nick, um... Because you're just an absolute legend, we would we would love for you to pick another song. Yeah. Uh. You do you have the link? link it? Do you have <laughs> the, Nick? Do you have a link to the song list? Put it back in there. It's just like our chat to be into Wang Austin 2024. <laughs> I neither confirm nor deny that that was ever said. Yeah, go ahead and pick something, Nick. Anything from the set list. So tomorrow, guys, we'll be back. Um, we will be back tomorrow. I'm going to run you back tomorrow. Yeah, you're good. Um, 7 o'clock, same time. And then we will also be back next Wednesday. We're going to be doing, at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be doing our... Mental health stream number three with our life coach. So that'll be fun. Then we're going to do Friday, next Friday and Saturday too. We're going to be doing uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be streaming as well. Tomorrow will be Song Learns again. So for those of you who have been like looking forward to that, you know, we uh, apologize for having to switch it up. Not uh, last second, you know, so. Well, we hope you're enjoying it, though. I can confirm that one time Austin said Brody is super cool and awesome and the best community manager. You are super cool and awesome and the best community manager. I say I just said it now. I actually said it twice because I read your message and then I said it. So, so technically three times for counting the, the time that you said that I said that. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, how is uh, how is everybody's day gone so far? What? Let's put this in the chat. What is something you're proud of yourself for doing today? I'll start. I am proud of myself for sticking through, and I was gonna cancel the stream because I wasn't feeling good, and sticking through and going, hey, you know what? Let's go on and let me just feel the music and enjoy it. And I feel I'm feeling a lot better, guys. Feeling a lot better. Um, what's something that you guys are proud of yourself for doing today? It could be anything. I'm proud of myself for getting out of bed on time. I'm proud of myself for not getting out of bed on time and letting myself sleep in. Um, I'm proud of myself for going to the gym. I'm proud of myself for not going to the gym because I needed to take a break from it. And I needed to have some me time. Like, it could literally be anything. The whole point of like an exercise like this is that you get into the mindset of being grateful and proud of yourself for 
the smallest of things because there's always stuff we can f that we can be proud of ourselves for um, no matter how small it seems <clears throat> my day was great I was proud of myself proud of myself getting better and feeling more comfortable with my new job I cleared up all my callbacks that's awesome that's awesome Brody Yeah, I remember when I when I worked a corporate job, I had to do calls and stuff, and that was always not something I look forward to. I hate rejection, um, so that was tough. Nick says, "I'm proud of doing a lot of needed yard work after working all day." Yeah, that's great, dude. That's I f I gotta I gotta do that shit. I gotta do that shit. There's stuff in our backyard that needs to be cut down. Um, what are you proud of yourself for today, Kayla? Uh, I'm proud of myself for going into the store earlier today, uh, and I wasn't reluctant about it. You asked me if I could go in, and I was like, yeah, sure, I'll go in, and mm -hmm. I'm proud of myself for doing that, because sometimes I have anxiety about like going out in public and I like I don't people do. I don't want people to see me I feel like I look like a mess or you know whatever I get in my head mm. but I didn't even though I was feeling that way I didn't let you know that I felt that way I just did it so yeah I'm proud of myself for that uh, I'm proud of you for that too Brody says, I'm also proud of myself from yesterday because I needed to clean up my room, and I did half of it yesterday. Ooh. I'll do half of the other half tomorrow. Was that going into the fabled Trader Joe's? No, not today. Not today. But not today. We already need to go food shopping for some, some stuff that we're out of. Speaking of which, I am really hungry. Sorry, I'm like, I don't mean to just be like messing around with my hair, but the headphones are, the wires and stuff are annoying. Proud of myself for having a great day at work and not letting shit get me down. That's amazing. I love that. I'm so happy that you were able to do that and have a good day. And it's important that you are proud of yourself for what might seem like very small things, they add up over time. And if, you know, whatever it is that you're, mm, that you want to improve on, like it's, it's going to take time. It's going to take practice. Um, and yeah, again, these things, they, they add up over time and it's just really important, so. Redbone, yeah, we could do that. If you're if you're out of cat food, do you go to Trader Joe's or Trader Joey's? Neither. Neither. Oh, you're learning guitar together with. Oh, that's so awesome! I love that. Um, Nick wants Redbone. Red That's a good one. That is a really good one. We haven't done that in a while, so I'm ready yeah. to do it. Let's do that now. Let's do it. That's a really good song. Oh, I forgot my water out there. Thank you. Yep.
Oof. Why is that so out of tune? I'm also proud of myself for trying to bring my family over here in England together more <clears throat> through something I'm passionate about, which is barbecues. Ooh! I'm looking at finding the money to buy my auntie a new barbecue. That's so cute! I love that! <sighs> so you like to grill and stuff and like cook and make food? That's so cool. Oh my god, I am really hungry right now and a barbecue sounds amazing. It does sound good. All right, let's get it. Creeping 
song. Nick, dude. Thank you so much for that. Fire, 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 clap. Thank and you so much. Brody, the one for completing the goal. You. Oh, my God. You dude. guys just... You guys are just so nice. Like, I don't... It's so... We're so blessed to have an audience to play for in the first place. And the fact that it's you guys and just, like, the type of people that you are. We want you to know we truly care for you. And um, we just appreciate being able to play for you guys. So thank you for being here. You guys are amazing. <coughs> And actually, I did the wrong thing. And if we hit the next goal, we will be doing shots. Oh, we will, will we? Oh, we will, yeah. Oh, we shall, shall we? All right. That's such a good song. Yeah, that really is a great song. It's fun. The best it's part is my pain. peanut butter chocolate cake with Kool-Aid. Oh, I love that part. That sounds good. Great song. Thanks for playing it. Of course, Nick, come on. Of course, we got you, man. And thank we you for you. donating. Like, Austin is a real Superman, and Kale is a real Wonder Woman. Kryptonite is such a song, and would be a wonder. Okay, yeah, we can do Kryptonite. <laughs> I'm looking over at you because that's that's one that you do. And, um, do you think I'm a Wonder Woman? <laughs> I mean, I don't know about that, but, like, I'll take it. All right. You ready? <laughs> Trouble mind. I left my body lying somewhere in the sands of time. I watched the world flow to the dark side of the moon. I fear there's nothing I can do. Keep you by my side with my superhuman 
my crib tonight If I go crazy Then will you still call me Superman? If I'm alive and will you be there Holding my hand I'll keep you by my side with my soul That was my favorite way we've ever played that. Yeah? Yes. That was really cool. I love that a lot. Reggae vibe all the way, bro. Mm -hmm. That was so fun. Brody, mm. thank you for suggesting that one. Kayla going crazy on those cajongos. The cajongos, I feel Oops. like. sound Cajongos. Cajongos? I like that name, actually. Kahongos. That's cool. Yeah, that, that has a good. Uh, I like that. I like that. I like, I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. <clears throat> all right. How you feeling, baby? I'm feeling all right. I. My head is actually like really hurting for some reason. Is it? Yeah, but like mood wise, I'm I feel great. Physical. I feel Let's subpar. get physical, physical. What can you do? Kahongos or Bong Johns? Bong Johns? <laughs> Bong Johns <laughs> Silvers? Wrong Wait, John? but you don't, you don't pronounce the J, so. Bong Johns? Bong Johns? Bong Johns? Bong Johns. We're getting too close <laughs> to Bong Hole. I don't like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Bruh. That's funny but true. Bruh. Uh, <clears throat> how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Yeah. I'm I'm enjoying this. I'm really like I'm really feeling the music. Me too. How do you guys How do you guys think everything sounds on the new computer? Have you guys noticed anything? Like, have you noticed pops any or pops glitches. or glitches or anything like that? Please, for the love of God, say no. <laughs> no, but if you have, please let us know because maybe there's some settings we need to. We need to adjust. Sounds so crisp. Oh, good. This is actually in 48 k kilohertz, as opposed to 44.1 kilohertz. I don't think any. I don't know that anybody here would know what that even means, but maybe you guys do. <laughs> maybe we'll be surprised. Like low key, so buttery smooth. <laughs> Dang. Well, that's good to know. Thank you. No sound issues. Oh, I'm very Thank you, pleased. Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. I hear those extra kilohertz. <laughs> no, like literally, it's impo It would be impossible for you to hear them physically. The hum human range can only hear to twenty thousand. But it's supposed to be like um, clearer. The fidelity is supposed to be better. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. <laughs> yeah, the human range of hearing is twenty hertz to twenty thousand hertz. Anything outside of that range is, uh, you you can't hear. Let's look through a song list. I want to find something. 20 to 20k. Ace! A scrupnik! <laughs> Dude. No. Oh, come no on. No shot. I have that in me. I'm sorry. Um... Ooh, this could be a good one. We haven't done this in a while. It looks like that's like our most played song. Uh, that's such a good song, though. I want to do that. Yeah, let's do it. Fine. Are you mm -hmm. fine with that? Mm-hmm. 
All right. We got an oldie but a goodie. An oldie but a goodie. <laughs> what? I was uh <coughs> trying to type ain't no sunshine. Mm -hmm. I just kept typing A I N and then every letter but T. <laughs> Did you put the... Oh, yeah. I didn't know if the reverb was on. Sunshine when she's gone. It's not warm when she goes away. There ain't no sunshine when she's gone. She's always gone too long. And in time, she goes away. Song. That's that's the most I've felt like playing that song in a long time. Like I agree. I don't know. It just felt good. Felt good to play that. Yeah, I agree. Um What are you thinking for stream wise? You wanna like wrap it up and maybe at ten? At, at, yeah, ten. Yeah. All right, we're going to go for about another 15 minutes, guys. Yeah, yeah. This song is my go-to for imp imp improving my baritone singing. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. <laughs> yeah, Brady, uh, we're not doing any of the segments tonight. We're going to be doing that tomorrow. Um, I'm really excited to stream the uh, to to get back to the song learn some tomorrow. So me too, but we just needed a break. Yeah, we from just it. like we didn't want to miss we're physically. Today we're both physically like oh. so. 
we were we want to do the songs more justice and sometimes when you're like physically feeling kind of out of it it's hard to learn a new song we were up until like 5 30 in the morning yesterday yeah um something that me and kayla have learned um is that for us when we have ideas they can sometimes be fleeting and so we kind of have to listen to those ideas and be okay with staying up later if we have something pop into our head that we need to get out. Mm -hmm. And so <laughs> we were just coming up with some ideas yesterday and kind of just brainstorming some stuff and mm -hmm. it was just kind of coming out naturally and the ideas were just kind of flowing. So, and that's really... Um, something that we that we that we do a lot right we we have times where we have ideas that we need to get out and it, it, there's no telling when or where those ideas are going to be right um like we chances are, are it's when we're home because we don't really go out much but like when it it a lot it happens at night a lot of times so like yeah. we can be up really late and but you never know when those ideas are gonna like present themselves again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we try we try to listen. We everything that we talk to you guys about about work and stuff we do it when we need to. Mm -hmm. Like when we need to take a break, that's that's fine, you know. And we we are, I myself, I feel like I can relate with a lot of people here, um, especially like Nick. I feel like I can relate with you. I have a really tough time feeling like I'm not doing enough, um, feeling like I am being lazy. I don't know if you if you feel that way. I'm just saying when it comes to like work, feeling like I'm not doing enough, like I should be doing more, feeling like I'm being lazy um, with work and that I need to get more done. And it's really hard. Maybe we should bring that up to Tina when she comes. Yeah, it's really hard for me. That could be a good topic. That is something that I really struggle with because it, I feel like. I feel like I have this vision for how I want our channel to be, how I want our streams to be, how I want our music to be, and that if I'm not working every second of the day, I'm not, like if I take time for myself, like to just lay down, that I... I'm lazy. And that's a that's a that's a tough thing for me to like come to terms with and like grasp because people could look at what we do and say you guys are successful. You guys are filling your purpose and I agree and and but I I don't feel like I do enough and it's it's just hard it it's hard to put myself into a mindset that I am doing enough because and again this just comes back to the like looking looking backwards versus looking forwards you know because when you're in that moment when you're in that moment of feeling a specific way of feeling negative, like I'm not doing enough. You're 
thinking back to what you haven't done, looking back at your day and saying, I should have done this there. I shouldn't have taken that break. I should have done this. I shouldn't have done this. I should have done this. And it is... It's so detrimental. And, like, I feel like shame, like, in a way. Like, I feel like... Like, I feel like I always say, like, I just can, you know. And then I get I get in this anxiety, like, when that happens. Like, I get this anxiety, like, I, okay, now I can't miss a single day because I've been lazy and I've been... And I, I haven't done enough. And, and that's, like, even worse because, of course, then, like, if I'm anxious that I'm, th that I'm, that I'm lazy and then I go and schedule the next day to be wake up at 6 a.m., do this from 6 to 7, do this from 7 to 8, do this from... Oh, <laughs> Nick. Nick strikes again. Dude. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Just a smiley face, bro. Dude, you are... I know you can, I know you relate, like you said, Nick, and I come, when I, when, when I feel lazy, like I'm not doing enough, I then like try to make up for it by sch scheduling way too much. That it's not realistic. That's not realistic. That <clears throat> I will never be able to get done. And then I feel the same way again. So it's just a cycle. And if I was able to just look at myself and say, I am doing enough. I am doing enough. Then... Oh, you guys are... Pretty... Nick and Brady and Brody and Ryan. You guys make me feel like I am doing enough. Gingy. Like I'm doing what I need to be doing and 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 the number one thing that I struggle with the most is exactly what I just said. Yeah. I struggle that's that is if I had to pick something that I said like what's the thing I need to work on the most? It's feeling like I'm enough. Feeling like I do enough. And you guys make me feel like I like I am like I'm doing enough like I'm doing my purpose and it's it's just it's just amazing like I can't express how how much that makes me like how much gratitude that gives me because it's I've struggled with that my whole life I've struggled with that my whole life always feeling lazy always feeling like I'm not doing enough always feeling like but I need to remember that I have unrealistic expectations of what I should be doing. And I need to use the facts and I need to see what I am doing and be grateful for what I am doing. Remember, and that's I, what it comes down to. When there were times, and there still are, because it's just like everything we've been saying, you know, all, all of these things take a lot of practice it's not just going to change overnight your brain's not just a switch that you can turn on or off like it takes time to develop new habits and new pathways in your brain and patterns um but one thing that you and i would do a lot was like when you were feeling like you weren't doing enough i would sit down with you 
And I would make you come up with a list of all the things that you have been doing. And it's important to think about that in every aspect, not just like what have you been doing for your work? Like, what are all the things that you have been doing? You know? And you remember yeah. that? And I yes. would write them out on like a board or uh, in a notebook and make him read it out loud and say, I am doing, you know. Yes. And, and that's something I want to say to you, Nick. Maybe that's something you try. Like, write out everything you are doing, not just work. And then you'll actually see how much you really are doing. Because yes. life is not just about work. Exactly. Life is not just about, you know mental health it's about physical health life is not just about physical health it's, it's about mental health life is not just about things. family to the point where you ignore your own mental health and your own physical health life is not just about any one thing it's about balance yeah. so if you look at everything you're doing next time Nick you feel or anybody in here who feels like I'm not doing enough for this insert topic work I'm not doing enough for my mental health not doing enough for my physical health. Write down everything you're doing for everything else. Even to the thing that the topic as well, because there's still some stuff you're probably doing too. Of course. Yeah. But I'm not doing enough work for you guys. You are Brady. Brady. Dude, that is so nice. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry reading his message. Brady, do you want us to read this? Or do you want to... It's up to you. I don't want to just... You know. <laughs> We're a community here, guys. And we truly care about every one of you. We really do. All right. And no matter what it feels like, we care about you guys. Okay. So if it feels like nobody does, we do. We do. Brady says, God bless the broken road that led you to be the person you are today. Without you, I would definitely be in such a dark place. So you're definitely like an angel put on his pathway. But even angels struggle sometimes. Love you, man. You changed my life truly. Well, dude. Thank you for changing our life. Nick. See, that's... That's why I'm enjoying the book you sent. I'm not as far into it as I'd like, but I'm enjoying it. If you're enjoying it, do it more. Be, but be grateful for where you... Be proud of yourself for how much you did read. Because you could have... You could have just not read it. You could have just not read it. Balance between work and relax relaxation is something I struggle with. Dude, I swear to God, bro. What this is, is this? When did you write all that down? I wrote that down the other day. That is something... That is something... That I struggle with is the balance between work and relaxation. I feel guilty if I'm relaxing because I'm not getting enough work done. But life is not just about work. Whenever I think of what I want in a relationship, I think back to how much you two support each other. And that is what I really hope to find. You two support each other through thick and thin and share how you help each other with all of us and it helps. Dude. Stop it, you guys. You You're guys. You me cry. You guys are so sweet. Like, the things that you tell us and the ways that you support us, it, it means everything. And I know that you guys know that by now. Uh... Get those glasses underneath. Oh. 
yeah, listen, like I said, Nick, I I struggle with that balance. But again, like I said, I mean, at the end of the day, you look at every ass. Okay, look at I, if I can relate this to something that I think actually really makes sense. Look at the gym, right? You don't even need to go to the gym to, to know this. Like, when people go to the gym and you work out and you're trying to get in shape, you don't just go and do arms all the time and not do back, not do triceps, not do, you know, um, shoulders, not do legs, not, you know, work on your... Like, no. You do arms. You do back. You do legs. You do chest. Your life is like that. These are all different areas and aspects. Like, if you just, you know, you ever see, like, somebody at the gym and they're fucking shredded, <laughs> but they have, like, the skinniest legs and you could tell, like, they don't do legs at all? Like, whatever, like, good job. Congratulations on being huge. Like, but still, it's like, you need balance. And life is, that's like life. You can't, you can't, work on just one thing and so relaxation helps you be able to work better yeah I struggled with that as well when I was in college I worked myself like right into the ground dude like if I didn't get straight A's on everything that I did I was a mess and I don't even know like where that came from I don't know shot. why I shot. I don't know why I um, felt that but I guess because it was I went to a music school and every single class was music related and so I felt like the music is my strength so I should be getting all A's and if I didn't I would beat myself up so hard and I would put so much um, effort into all of my projects and my compositions and any anything that I did I took it so so seriously but it was to the point where it was so unhealthy and um, don't get me wrong like a lot of what I did was very fulfilling for me and I enjoyed myself but there was also a lot of stress that I put on myself for like looking back at it literally no reason and I would be so in my head like I equated my grades to my worth I equated if I like was taking a break or something that I was not working hard enough like I had those same exact feelings and I spiraled out of control and I had a lot of depression and anxiety for like a lot of different reasons but the work ethic thing was was also like extremely difficult for me at, at that time in my life and when I went to outpatient intensive outpatient therapy I started to realize you know the importance of balance and that you need to have all the parts in your life moving together you can't just put every everything all your energy into working and working and working and working and working and then you burn out and you feel miserable you're not happy and you go through everything is harder but if you work on having that balance you're going like the more you relax the better the quality of your work is going to be mm -hmm. the more you eat healthier the better physically you're going to feel the better you're going to be able to sleep the uh, you know all of these things need to work together in order to have a healthy life it's not just all about putting your energy into one single thing and that if you 
take your attention off of whatever that one thing is that it's all going to fall apart and it means like you suck like no it doesn't mean that you know it's like that with music you know if your throat is really tense and tight you're not going to sing not gonna what's sing up well. by, f- by four non blondes you're not you're just not going to sing that <laughs> is anybody <clears throat> partaking Yeah, I completely understand that killer. I was doing computer science instead of music, but I was getting burnt out. I can imagine with computer science. Yeah, there, that's yeah. it's a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking yeah, power with that. A lot. So. Mhm. And like for me as well, like, uh, with being in music school, like I know that's those are totally different subjects and like areas of of work, but with with music i mean like you're presenting your projects you're presenting what you've created to everyone in the class you're presenting it to your teacher you're presenting it to everybody else who's working on the same thing and you're comparing yourself constantly because there is no formula to music it's all creative albino thank you um yeah like so sharing uh your music and your projects and things with other people is supposed to be a good thing because you're getting feedback you're learning how to be better and this and that and this and that right like you're learning but at the same time like i took it and i internalized it as mine's not as good enough as that person's is everybody else in here is so much better than me how am i even in this class you know and it was just like I could never shut my brain off, dude. I could never relax, ever. I had no idea what relaxing even meant. And I'm not being dramatic when I say that. Like, I really didn't. It's a, it's an, it takes practice. Yeah. And it wasn't until I started doing therapy full time that I realized the importance of balance and relaxing and all of these things because you're just not going to work at your best. You're not going to be the best version of yourself if you're burning out. So let's take the shot. Let's do this. (laughs) All right. We'll do it for you, albino. What? I didn't read the message. They said they missed their voices and they want I read sins, not tragedies. Oh, boy. Right. Yeah, typical Victor. Of course, what's going on? Victor was he had remember he had the he was in one of our Omegle videos early on. He had a dinosaur. That was you. Yeah, I I'm remember sure. yeah. you. What the what's heck? What's going on, man? Cheers. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> oh God. When you do the intro to the song, can you sing the alphabet until you get to O? Well, imagine. (laughs) That's hilarious. Yes. That's fucking funny. That's great. That is so funny. I love that. Why didn't we get something? I don't know. Are right, you ready? Oh. <laughs> How are we going to incorporate the alphabet into this? We're literally going to sing. Like the actual alphabet, A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O O. Well, imagine.
Alright, I'm gonna give this a shot. This is really high. I'm, I'm gonna transpose it. Imagine some place in the pews. No boots for him, no can hear and exchange in the words. Bright shining, haven't you people ever heard of? Closing the goddamn door, no. Alright, here we go. You're gonna speed it up, right? Because that was like dragging hella hard. Alright, well, listen, we're gonna, I'm gonna do it how I want, ready? <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, Wait. F. We have to. What? You have to sing it in the like, key. We'll imagine. No, it's gonna be the regular alphabet song in that. No. no, what I'm saying so that you can end. A B C D E F. Just let me do it. You the don't know alphabet. how to sing your A B C's. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O. Well, imagine. <laughs> As I'm pacing the pews in the church corridor And I can't help but to hear No, I can't help but to hear And exchanging no words What a beautiful wedding Wedding, wed, 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 wedding Right What a beautiful wedding What a beautiful wedding This is a bride made to It's all good. It's all good. I'll buy now. No worries at all. I mean, we've heard that song a billion times. Yeah, so, so you know. 
it is what it is. But yeah, oh, that was uh, that was a good one. That was a good one. That's a great song. It's a classic. All right, guys. So to update you guys about upcoming streams tomorrow, Saturday. Now sing the alphabet backwards. I can't. Um, tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern, back to song learn stream. So you want to come and request any song, um, join the stream. Uh, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Um... Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, we are doing a mental health stream number three with our life coach, and we're going to be taking topics that you guys want to be discussed. Make sure you join the Discord. If you have not joined the Discord, please do. Um, that's where we're, uh, we'll update everybody mm -hmm. with all that stuff. So. Wednesday is also going to be 7 p.m. Eastern. Yes. Eastern time. Friday and Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern time, song learn streams as well. So we're super grateful for everybody. Thank you all for just being a part of, you know, what we have going on here. And, you know, just for being so supportive. You mm -hmm. guys are just... Won't donate anymore today because don't want you to take a shot. Dude, you don't have to you don't have to donate. That's cool. Yeah, seriously. And also we don't need to take a shot either. Yeah. Like I'm not really looking to do that again anyway. <laughs> um I kinda uh, I kinda what? wanna um would you mind if we play one more song and we do volcano? Yeah, let's do that one. Let's do that one. We'll end with that one. I normally play violin on it, and I love playing violin on it, but I just don't have that capacity right now. Because I want to end on a song that we, like, do. And I really like that one. Yeah, that's a great song. This is a song that is one of the first songs that me and Kayla covered covered together. Wow. It was. <clears throat> it was one of our favorites to play for a long yes. time. I can't believe Ryan is sending through an electric mandolin. That doesn't seem real. That's crazy. Like, that seems like... That's so cool. Yeah, that is really cool. I have no idea. Like, I had no clue that anybody would... <sighs> yeah, that's, that's just crazy. <laughs> All right. So this will be the last song of the night. Um, two people who specifically did want to see us do another shot, we will not be doing another shot. So, <laughs> sorry. Sorry to burst your bubble. AKA Brody. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Oh, you're gonna play Colin or just, just sing? Um, I don't know yet. I'm not sure. I'll feel it out. That's not the right song. The last song before Wang Chung, is that correct? No, that is not correct. No Wang Chung. I mean, we hope you are all Wanging Chung, but we're not gonna be playing. Enjoyed that, huh? <laughs> Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good song. That's a good song. 
but we will not be playing that. Thank you guys. 
Everybody have fun <laughs> tonight. Oh, maybe we'll open up with Wang Chung tomorrow. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed. It's a fun song. That was a good second <laughs> last song. Brody, we are not wanging Chung tonight. Uh, this is a chill stream, bro. Yeah. Bro. The only person who can truly decide if we wang Chung, it would be Nick. Well, yeah, what Nick wants, Nick gets. That's why. If Nick wants us to wang Chung. We would. Nick can let us know. Nick, what's, the, ver what's the verdict? We Nick? can wang Chung tonight or we can wang Chung tomorrow. Or we can do both. I mean, it's up to Nick. Yeah, honestly. Does Nick want us Nick to Wang Chung? Nick doesn't want the pressure on him, though. Will Nick want us to Wang Chung? Was it a game show? Yeah. <laughs> Does Nick want no, us to I... Wang that Chung? Wang. <laughs> Does Nick, Nick want us to Chung that Wang? Oh, my God. If Nick wants Nick, let them rest. <laughs> <laughs> or let them Wang. Or let them chung. Oh my god. It's really This could really tomorrow. go on forever. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um, oh my god. So yeah, tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, Nick, think of song. Brady, think of song. We're going to be doing your segments tomorrow. Justin Zeller, if you're here. I don't know if you are because you like to pop in and out. If you're here, let us know. Austin, never say that again. <laughs> um, let us know if you're here and we'll do your segment tomorrow too. Um, sorry, bro. We still don't have that back? Wait, what? I said sorry about the Wang Chung. What are you talking about? Oh, I was talking about the segment for Brody. No, no we don't have that. Dang, we gotta get I know. on top of that guy because that's it's been, it's been a really a long yeah. time. Yeah. Anyway, that's, that's a separate thing you guys don't care about, but <coughs> Brody does. Well, yeah. Um, never Chung Wang. <laughs> you can, but you you can't Chung Wang, but you can Wang Chung. Uh, I'll make it in paint tonight. Send it tomorrow. <laughs> um, at least on stream. Um. You can hi hat though. That does not look good. On <laughs> it doesn't look good at all. I'm just going like this, guys. <laughs> it's not good. Forgot to Ever say Ever since I pointed that out. No, it was. Um, no, it was me. But Skrillnik says it, right? I think it was Skrillnik who who coined the term hi hatting. Yeah, hi hatting. But I I was the one who pointed it out. Like you should stop doing that yeah. because it doesn't look good. Thank you for having my best best interest, interest at heart. At heart, guys, <laughs> we will see you tomorrow. And uh, if you haven't joined Discord, please do. Although everybody here probably is in the Discord. Um, other than that, guys, we'll we'll catch you tomorrow. Fuck yeah! All right. All right. All right, Johnny. <laughs> we will see you guys later. Peace out, bitches. All love, all love. That was really mean. Take it back. No chargebacks. <laughs>